Father Laston Lupupa is still a very good man. In fact, he's still a very good priest with vast experience, knowledge, influence, and he has commanded a large following both in the Catholic Church and the entire religious community in Zambia. He has used his religious teachings to unite Zambians through his well-articulated and passionate liturgical oratory. But we are of the view that there is something very wrong happening to Father Laston Lupupa. We suspect that this clout, trust, and dignity that Zambians have bestowed on Father Laston Lupupa wants to escape him, the same way it escaped from Father Frank Walia and many others in the church. In the recent past, we have noted with growing concern Father Laston Lupupa's apparent bias deviations during his sermons. Father Laston Lupupa's open political bias has been exposed in one of his sermons where he openly made scanting remarks against opposition politicians while funding ideas of rigging elections. This is appalling, unacceptable and embarrassing coming from a leader who must unite citizens and help expand on democracy in Zambia. What kind of priest encourages the rigging of elections in support of the ruling party? What kind of priest encourages violence, hatred and division of God's people? Father Lasten Lupupa must be reminded that democracy is about the voice of the people and the voice of the people is the voice of God. We want to urge Father Lasten Lupupa not to pity himself against politicians who are hungry and looking for a job. Father Lasten Lupupa already has the platform where he has been serving God's people in the church. He will jeopardize his standing in society once he begins to use the pulpit as an anthill to champion divisive and harmful statements in the democracy for championing expressions that threaten peace unity and democracy in zambia we nominate for the last on lupupa as our loser for today what a loser